thank you a lot for doing this interview with us, Deutschland, a Belgian uh, website. You are now in Holland. We speak the same language in the north, but in the south, it's French. Correct. Okay. Two important guys, not that I am against the drummers, <laughs> but... Uh, I am. Uh, Pat Faherty. Huh? Did I pronounce it good? Yeah, yeah we don't even say our name right now. And the man on the guitar, uh, Matthew Stubbs. That's me. Nice to meet you. Okay. Let's go for it. Before we start with the real questions, I did some homework. Why the name GA20? Because of an amplifier. It's an amplifier, Gibson amplifier that was made mostly in the 50s. And when Pat and I started the band, that's what we were using in the recording studio and at live gigs. And uh, every other good name has already been taken for a band. Yeah. So we went with that. That means that you're working with the amplifier, with the JA, uh, no. GA20. Yeah. yeah. No, you're using that. At home, not here, but at home we use them, yeah. The, the, not what today happens, that too. If we had our GA20, that wouldn't have happened today. Oh. Today I'm dying. <laughs> yeah. Why that specific amplifier? It's just a... Uh, Why? Where, where's the difference between name other ones? Uh, it, it was just, I collect old amplifiers, and when we started this band, it just, it just sounded good. And it's a small, small amp that sounds kind of uh, retro or distorted. And we were just using it, and it sounds good, so we just the, stuck with it. The right words. The retro and distorted. Yeah, yeah. GA20 is an American blues band from Boston. Yes. Yeah. Massachusetts. Formed in 2018. I, I think you both were the, the original, the first. Uh, the founders, members. yeah, the yeah. Founders, yep. Yes. Yep. And then Tim came along about a year later. Yeah. Yep. What brings you together? Uh, Pat and I were both living in Boston at the time, and I ended up uh, having a year off from Charlie Musselwhite. He was going out with Ben Harper, and so Pat and I decided, because we had some spare time, to for, start a blues band. For the blues dummies, that's the man on the harmonica. Right, a blue, blue, very well-known blues harmonica player. He was also here in uh, Oscar. Was it? Yeah, okay. Cool. Long time ago, but you had a good man to introduce you in the, in, in the scene. He's a legend. Yeah. He's a great guy. Yeah. Why did you choose, like you told us on the scene uh, during the show, that I remember the words blues is uh, when you don't like the blues you must listen to the rock shit. It's if you don't like the blues oh, if you're you listening like to the wrong shit. Yeah. 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 That's if our saying. Don't like yeah. the blues, what you <laughs> yeah. Why did you choose for the blues? I grew up with it. My father's a musician. Uh, and I grew up around traditional blues and early rock and roll. I would go see his band play and it's just the music that always spoke to me. Pat can answer why he likes it. I don't know why he likes it. Yes, I want to hear something from Pat because he's very that, yeah, he talks intimate. So. <laughs> uh, it just hits different, man. I have a different background in different styles of music, and blues is just a whole other beast. It, it's not the same where in other styles you have to play the exact same thing every single time. Yeah. Like the song is exactly one way. Blues man, every single show, it's it's different. And it's so right. what you want to say is when two men sings uh, the same song, they are different. That's just totally you sing it your way, you sing it your way. Mm -hmm. and, same, and same band, dude, same band, different show. It feels different that show versus another show, man. Uh, why did you want to, to become a musician? Was it because of your environment, uh, parents, or uh, people that also played uh, in your family? I don't know. That's, what, when did you know that you wanted to become a musician? My music speaks better for me than words do. Nice man. There you go. You should have, you should have said that on guitar. <laughs> <laughs> guitar. That's you. Why, why did you want to become a musician? I just grew up around it. My father, like I said, I grew up around my father. And uh, when I got my first guitar at 13, it took about a year to really connect with it. And then after that, that's all I ever really wanted to do. You, you, you knew that you wanted to be a, 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 a Yeah, it took about a year to like kind of play a little bit on the instrument and then I connected with it. Sure. We just ask him. Just to get women. That's it. That's the only reason. Uh, <laughs> I like the no, Beatles. I, I love, I mean, my, my dad 
and my mom both had music on since I was oh, two years old. Oh, that you hear it in the, in, in the house. And yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right now. With your music, I think you're going back to Chicago. Is that correct or...? Yeah, when we started the band, the influence was Chicago blues from the 50s and 60s. I mean, we all like all kinds of music and all kinds of blues, but I think our influences and, and where the band started and when we arranged the music, because we don't have a bass guitar player, two guitars. Yeah, two guitars. Uh, a lot of our influences were Chicago blues musicians and bands that did that. So I think that's our main influence as a group. Not main influence individually, but as a group and the way we arrange music came from Chicago blues, late 50s, early 60s. But like you said, you don't use or don't need a, a, a bass guitar? No. 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 Don't want one. Who's playing the, the bass part of the... It depends. We trade. Sometimes Matt does it, sometimes I do it. Okay. It, st it started all in uh, Boston? Yes. You, you you met there or we, we uh, at the time we were all living in Boston. Yeah. You, you you told us something on on stage that you're from Boston. Mm -hmm. You played before in different bands or uh... we've all been in different bands. I still play with Charlie. Pat has a, a metal band and Tim has his own jazz project. But when we met, we were all living in Boston, and we started just to play gigs around Boston. That was that was just we just wanted to play blues music, and then it naturally grew. As soon as we made a recording. We connected with Coal Mine Records, and they put out a record for us, and it just grew organically. Yeah. Oh, uh, you say Boston? Yes. Is that a very musical city? Yes. Thank you. Thank Cheers. You. Cheers. 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 Uh, it is. There, there's lots of music colleges there, so there's lots of young musicians and lots of venues. Because they are, for us, they are always talking about Chicago and uh, the... Yeah, I mean... Because, yeah, the California, the, the, that side, but... Uh... No, Boston historically has always been a, a very musical city. I mean, you have New England Conservatory, Berkeley College of Music, and Boston other... Conservatory. Boston Conservatory, UMass has a big music program, so there's, there's lots of music coming through there. And then lots of bands, you know, it's a major stop for tours, so you get to see lots of big bands coming okay. through. Let's say something about your albums. Yes. Your last one was in 2019. The first one. First one, sorry. Yep. Correction, first one. Uh, when I wrote my review, I wrote the next verse. It's a perfect album for music lovers and youngsters who want to know something about music. Cool, thank well, you. Was that correct? Or yes, correct. I like should that. I add something, Pat? No. Yeah. Maybe, maybe the most handsome band in the blues business. Oh, you could add that. That's no problem. Next time I add that. <laughs> that's no problem. But then we go to 2021. Mm -hmm. Another album is about the same layout and the yellow color and in the middle a photo. Hound of Hound Dog's hand, six fingers. You know him. He had six fingers. Yep. He cut one. Oh, well, he had six on each hand. Yes. And he cut one off, one of hand, one yeah. has right hand, I believe. Yeah. His left hand oh, left still has right, six. I don't know. But his left still has six. you see, it's... Yeah. Uh, I think it was his slide hand still had an extra. I could be wrong, but... I was very happy to hear you playing today his song, because Doc, that's... He has everything. The groove, the, the, the power in it. Yeah. He's wild. He's wild, but why... Do you go to him? Um, many reasons. Uh, because I, I can also give you other names, but you went to the, the whole... Well, first of all, I don't think many people have done it, which is nice. Uh, second, he's not necessarily a household name like other blues artists like B.B. King or Freddie King or Albert King or no, Buddy Guy no, or Drew Wells. I, I think he's just as good, but I don't think he's, he's known as much. But the way this record happened was Bruce, the owner of Alligator, during the pandemic contacted us. He had seen the band before the pandemic. And then during uh, the summer, he reached out and asked if we would do a record for Alligator. But we were already under contract with Coal Mine Records. So I came up with an idea. It was the 50th anniversary of Alligator Records and the first Hound Dog record on Alligator. So I just pitched the idea to our label and Alligator 
if they both were to put it out together. So you phoned Mr. Bruce uh, Iglauer? I did. And yeah. I know you. I well, he your... called, well, he emailed me, and then I called him back. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. He, he was, we have met him. He was very, very yeah, yeah. Very... He, he was interested, I think, originally in us just doing a GA20 original record, but we were already under contract, so that couldn't happen. But this was something more creative that we could do. So our label and that label could work together and push it out and hopefully reach more people. You said something about the new album? We have an album coming out in September, yeah. What, may, maybe, uh, what can we expect? It's more of a follow-up to the first record, Lonely Soul. It's all original. Uh, well, ten songs, nine are original. And it's on Coal Mine Records. Pat, you're happy with it? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else, Pat? No. No. no, no. Okay. All right. I didn't expect yeah. that. I'm ready. To, I'm ready. You get a yes or no. Uh, get a yes or no. But you're going uh, more with uh, Mr. Alligator, but Mr. No, it was one and done with Alligator. We're not. We're going with Coal Mine again. Oh. We're, 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 we were before that record even came out with Alligator. We had a multiple multiple record deal with Coal Mine, so it was just a one time thing. You know. What, we, what I call free again because uh, Corona is, I don't say past, but... Uh, yeah, things are what, opening up. What yeah. did you do during the pandemic? Pen we made that record. You made that record? <laughs> yeah. And a yeah. couple others. Yeah, we have we have three other records that will be coming out. We made all, all yeah. three of them, yep. Yeah. I have a few questions to finish. Mm -hmm. First one, you may answer it one by one. I do think because you are very young, not as old as I am, but <laughs> everybody has somewhere uh, what I call the, a bucket list. A list of items that you once want to do. Can you name us an item that you surely want to do? What do you mean item? When you say item, what do you mean? Uh, things that you surely want to do in your life. Like as a performance or just in no, general? No, it, it is very, very wide. Boy, that's a well, the, that's that, a big question. There was there was a film about it, the bucket list. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. People they were going to I very old they were going to die and they after all not I want to do this and this and this but I mean, to be honest you, I'm kind of doing what I want to do. You're, you're very young so yeah. I think you must have also plans for the future plans for the next months next year I don't know but uh, I mean I'll go first I guess I'm doing I'm already doing I've been doing what I want to do. For the last 15 years, I just want to record, play, yes. perform, and tour. That's what I do. That's all I always want to do. Yeah. As far as a bucket list, I would just like to keep reaching more people and yeah. it growing. Headline big festival. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's fun. You know. Maybe a strange question, but is GA20 a, a project that you do for a few years, or that you say? No, this is it. I mean, it's my main thing. Yeah, main yeah, thing. it's my putting everything I got into it. So. Okay. Make hundreds of dollars playing. I mean, you can, they can answer. <laughs> maybe ask them about the bucket list. That's my thing. I mean, I'm doing what I want to do. That's where I'm at. Too. Do you have also free time? Yeah. time that you don't be in the business or don't uh, think about music? Sure. <laughs> maybe you're fishing or maybe you go. Well, I don't fish. Bowling uh, or. I got a dog. I really like my dog and I like to run and oh. I like to eat food mm. and drink beer. <laughs> Those know, are my hobbies, I guess. Know, and just hang out at my house with my girlfriend. This is Belgian beer. I, is it? I don't even know. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. It's it's good. We are famous for the beers. Yeah. The strong beers, the dangerous beer. Okay, gentlemen, I have a last question. Which advice would you give for youngsters that will be also musicians, who want to be to become musicians? Uh, I don't, I don't I, say I would... that you're old, but. No, I know what you mean. You you can say I have that that, that experience. So what do you think, Tim? For young musicians who yes, are trying to make musician. it, you be meet, reliable. You meet them and they 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 ask you, what must I do? Be reliable. Yeah. I think that's if you're especially if you're a side musician, you want to get hired. Show up on time and have everything together. That's happening. And wear a cool jacket. And wear a cool jacket. Yeah. And also get along with people. Don't be a He is cool when he puts off his head every evening. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was a joke. Well, that's you. What was your what is your advice? Uh, from my my point of view, what I've done is uh, music is very important, but you have to learn some other skills around it if you want to do it as a job. 
you know, uh, learning a little bit about business and being able to deal with people. For me, a lot of the, a lot of the stuff. I think reasons why I've been successful in certain areas was yeah, being good at music, but also other things around that. You know, being able to do the business and, and social media and all that other stuff. Is it difficult? No, it's a lot of work. I, I mean, I don't find it hard, but it's, it's, it takes a lot of time. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's hard. Glad you have the last words. Learn the whole song, melody, guitar, bass, drums, every instrument. Every song, learn the whole song. Yeah. I'm sure about don't that. Don't don't learn half of it. No. Okay, gentlemen, this were cool. this were my questions. Thank, Thank you. Thank This were our roots time. I'm very happy to write in the on the end of the year. Cool. The next review on your third album. The, the third full length will be in September. Third yeah. Full yeah. Album. I think you'll like it. I have enjoyed them. Cool. It was the first band that my, uh, how do you call my hair? My hair was oh, I thought you were going to say you got a yeah, tattoo. Uh, yeah, why? Well, I don't have a tattoo. Not a GA no GA20 tattoo. No. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe on your neck. Yeah, here, yeah, here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that I must ask my wife, but she's. Uh, Maybe it will come. Yeah. Teardrop? <laughs> GA20? No, 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 no. no. For how many times you see us live, you get another one. Okay. So thank you very much. Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Again, thank you a lot and have a good time. I don't know when you're going back to uh, home, to the States. We've got about two more weeks. Two more weeks. Yep. The, the, the 